Train to Glory is finally back, lads. After a week off, basically, for Team of the Year, it is finally back. And I am seriously buzzing to do this series again. So welcome to episode number 32 of Train to Glory. And from the last episode, we had about 900,000 coins. And obviously, I didn't invest anything through Team of the Year because obviously prices were just dying um, day after day. And on Saturday slash Sunday, I decided to invest my coins. I'm not showing you every... Um, storage that I did go and buy, but I bought about, um, well, nearly 30 storages, I think, and bought them for around about 11, 750 to 12k, and I think now he's around about 17k, so already I've probably made around about 100k on those storages at least, and these two cards right here, these are the gems, because I've bought two second inform Lacazettes for around about 240k-ish, and he's now double that price he's nearly 500k and he hasn't even been upgraded yet so once he gets upgraded i'm gonna sell straight away and the amount of coins guys that i'm gonna have after that oh my god so anyways this is the team that we have got now um i did buy cheaper players this time i didn't buy Di maria back um, i didn't buy sanchez back i bought walcott back in um, I bought Barkley, I bought Fernandinho, I bought Courtois. Look at some of these players going for like 2, 1, 2k when they were before like 5, 6k plus. That is the team of the year market crash for you. So I did bring in Courtois because he is the best goalkeeper in the game. And um, yeah, I just want him in my team to make sure we win these games. So first match and we come up against Courtois in goal and it looks pretty damn sick his team I'm not gonna lie there so I knew I had my work cut out we need to win I think every match to actually win the title and we did make it 1-0 with Sturridge who does it again as per usual keeps on scoring the goals in this series and then we made it 2-0 um, soon after and Courtois made a huge error there that was that is something that I do pick up sometimes when he does play for me he does make some errors there and I don't really understand how I did not score that to make it 3-0. And then Hazard just slightly walks through or runs through and makes it 2-1. Yeah, Courtois is a weird player. He's very, very good, but his handling sometimes is very bad, um, as you saw for that second goal. And we were struggling to stay in the league. Courtois were a very, very important save. And, uh, yeah, there was plenty of chances in this first half. Could we make it 3-1 right here? No, because I fucked up, and I some for some reason I put it on his right foot when he's left footed. Yeah, I don't really understand. Half time we were dominating him, and then at the start of the second half, Winston Reid got a red card. Now the challenge I thought was a yellow, but I didn't think it was a red. So I don't know. Quite unfortunate there, but that meant we had to deal with the rest of the game with only ten men. So I put Matic at centre back, put Fur on. For Barkley at centre mid. I was just trying to hold out in this game and not let him score because I didn't need to score again. I just needed to stop him from scoring. And this was his main chance with Sanchez and Courtois, the absolute gods, saved me. And yeah, he was basically the reason why we did end up winning this game because he made a couple of decent saves and we do win 2 1. I thought we deserved to win. I thought I should have had more than two goals personally. But I'll take it. We need two more wins to actually get into Division 1 now um, from the remaining three games. And all three games need to be won to win the title. So we took out Reed for the second match and put Cahill in. We did buy him. I think it was like 1.5k, so not expensive at all. And the second match, I'm guessing this guy's a Rangers fan. And for some reason, he put Zabaleta at CDM. Yeah, I don't understand either. Anyways, this guy was absolutely boring to play against um he stopped playing for a second and Sturridge couldn't take the opportunity right there and that was basically the only highlight of that half it was so boring I was like please make this interesting and then Sturridge got through and you know what Sturridge is gonna do he's gonna take around the goal kid and he makes it 1-0 as per usual so he's got another goal in this episode and look at that from Walker who needs Team of the Year Cruiser Iniesta when Walker can deliver a ball like that. And then we did make it 2-0. Like, that was that was just a dream from Walker. I was like, what the hell? Is that really him um, making that sort of pass? 
Anyways, we kind of toyed with him towards the end. He wasn't really too much of a threat. And we did end up making it 3-0 in the end with Walcott. And that was how it finished. Uh, finished and yeah, the stats seemed pretty even, but I felt I was the dominant force in that game, and that means we are one win away from Division One. Can we do it in this final game, lads? Let's take a look. So the final match, Dumbia is love, and he yes, he's obviously got Dumbia in his team. Um, he's actually only on like four chem, four or five chem. I'm not actually sure, but yeah, it looked a pretty decent team, even though it wasn't like full chemistry. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, this guy was actually pretty decent. He hit the bar right there. But again, there wasn't really many highlights in this match. As you can see, not many shots on target at half time. Um, and yeah, I made a fatal error because we had to really go for this. And this was actually towards the end. Dumbia was through and Courtois makes another godly save. Yeah, another godly save. And then in the final moments, literally the last kick of the game, Daniel Sturridge scores. He scores when he wants, guys. He scores when he wants. We win in basically the last second of the game. And we have finally reached Division 1. There we go. 1-0. It was a boring match again. But I don't care. We got the win. And Sturridge is a legend, pretty much. So that is it for this video, guys. Next episode, we are going to try and win the title and begin Division 1. And see how my investments are looking. So please do leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.